Good morning and welcome back to St John's Every Day in Advent. Today I'm going to talk to you about Christmas cakes but before that I'm going to read from Isaiah 9 verse 6 and this is what it says. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So when I read this I remember that these these words were written over a hundred years before Jesus was born. And he's basically saying a child is going to be born. He's going to be the savior of all mankind. And Jesus is the exact fulfillment of this prophecy. These verses just go to show that God has always had a plan and that that plan is in the form of Jesus Christ, our savior, who was born and lived just like me and you. And like that prophecy, we do unplan many things ahead of time, such as many of you will already know, the Sunday before the start of Advent is known as Stir Up Sunday. And this is because of a tradition collect in the Book of Common Prayer, which says, Stir up, O Lord, we beseech thee, the wills of thy faithful people. And this prayer is asking that we be stirred into action as we approach the time of Advent. And it's also been associated with the practice of making Christmas cakes and puddings and all kinds of other Christmas treats and desserts that we have around the Christmas time. And the tradition is that the cake is mixed and stirred before the start of Advent. During Advent, it sits quietly seeping and steeping until awaken at Christmas, having donned a waistcoat of marzipan and an overcoat of icing. Now, the cake's journey through Advent mirrors our own in the sense that we plan ahead of time. We set things in motion just like a cake's journey. We start with an empty bowl and we start adding ingredients and bake it and let it sit quietly and reflect. And we do that in our own life as well. So with that in mind, I hope you have a great Christmas and a great day. Bye.